welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and happen to stumble by, I'm your girl Bella and I would totally love if you join me on my YouTube adventures. Hit the subscribe button, click on the bell, and let's be friends. Hi guys! Hey everybody! How's it going? Happy Friday! I hope you have this video up on Friday because I am very late on my schedule today. So, I have some pre-recorded clips here. Um, I took a, a thrift store find that I bought before um, all the craziness and I had been meaning to paint it. I always wanted to paint it and kind of refresh it to give it a little more of a French country farmhouse look because that's what I'm going for. Now, I'm in my dining room, so I want to put this in my dining room. What I'm trying to do in my dining room, because I have this very, very traditional um, dining set that I'm not going to part with right now. I think I might eventually part with it, but I'm not going to part with it right now. Uh, I want to add a French country farmhouse flair to my dining room. Meaning, what does that mean to me? More like a garden theme. Like uh, French country to me makes me think of gardens. So that's kind of what I'm going for. So in saying that, I'm going to show you the before and after of the um, item that I'm going to use as a centerpiece. I think it turned out amazing. I think it turned out exactly the way I wanted it. Um, you'll see, uh, cause I voiced over cause I did it, uh, last night and I, I love it. But, uh, now after you see these clips, come join me and we will make a centerpiece. Okay guys, let me show you. This is the thrift store find I found. It is this kind of giant resin urn and it's pretty big. I'm showing you here. It's brown and this old style kind of gold color. So what I'm gonna use is a bunch of chalk paint that I bought from Walmart, and you see me here using it. I'll leave them both, uh, all the colors that I used and all the stuff I used linked down below. I love this brush. I highly, highly recommend this, especially for getting into crevices. This was a great buy. And uh, this is all from Walmart, the Waverly chalk paint. And here I'm just showing you that in the little areas, I did use a small brush just to get into the crevices. And that really helped out a lot, actually. So I turned it around, and this is what I'm starting to do. I took this moss green color, um, but don't worry, I'll leave it linked down below if you're interested. And I'm making it look as if you had left this outside it's an old urn and you just picked it up from outside and it's got like moss on it that's what i was trying to go for and you'll see here because i'm gonna layer a lot of colors so i started with the green and then i kind of blended it in with a wet towel that helped a lot and as you you're gonna see me i keep going and you have to have lots of patience, guys. This is all I'm gonna tell you about this kind of thing if you're interested in doing this sort of thing. Lots of patience, you need lots of patience. Okay, I'm still using the green, but as you'll see in a minute, I am gonna start layering. And I did layer three different colors. I layered the moss green, a pretty vibrant green, a brown, which you'll see in a minute, and there's the vibrant green and this is not chalk paint it's just acrylic paint that i had on hand um, i'll link it down below you can find it at dollar tree so i'll just leave the color down below in the description box but using the little uh, wet cloth did help uh, blend it in really really good and you gotta think of like moss in general it has lots of colors so yeah so that's what i did okay there you can see it. I got both greens done and now I'm gonna use brown. I actually used raw umber because that's all I had on hand. And again, I'm blending it in because I want it soft, but I want the brown, I used it more for like the dirt that you would find on an urn like this, you would find dirt. So I'm using the brown to kind of mimic that look.
Okay guys, I'm showing you here how I did the brown and I really like it. Then I took my brush, the one I originally used to paint, and I kind of dry brushed it with whatever was left on just to blur the lines. And then I took a small piece of sandpaper and sanded really, really good. I sanded off quite a bit, especially in the edges. I really wanted to give it that distressed look and I went all around to make sure. Now I didn't show you what I used here as in paint, but I used a little bit of gold, antique gold, just to raise the, just to show the, the little um, raised bits. I wanted to give it some highlight because if anything you know about French country, there's always a little bit of antique gold in certain items. And that's what I'm really trying to get to, get it to look like. Here comes my epic fail. Stay with me and I'll explain this. I wanted to use this moss with Mod Podge. I thought it was gonna be easy peasy. I broke a few pieces apart and tried to put a Mod Podge with a paintbrush and the moss. Well, it wasn't sticking. It was giving me a really hard time. It was really big and chunky and it just wouldn't stick. Then I thought, Okay, let me go get a different moss because I had a different moss down in the basement and you'll see this one and it's really bright green. This one was even a bigger fail because that green moss, that one, the second one that I'm using, that's the one from the Dollar Tree and it's really, really bright. No, not a good idea. I ended up taking that off. So what I did end up doing, which you'll see here in a minute, what I did is I took the original moss and a tiny bit of the Dollar Tree moss and I cut it really, 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 really fine. And then I got it to work and I think it turned out great. But this was trial and error and it took a lot of effort but in the end, as you can see here, I do finally manage to get it on. And I'm not worried about the Mod Podge being white because we all know that it's gonna dry clear. So in the end, it did turn out exactly the way I wanted. Okay guys, here is the finished product. I love it. I love how it turned out. I like the little bits of gold that I put and the moss here and there. Now, it was really difficult to do, so I don't recommend it, but the colors and the texture give it the look I want. I wanted it to look as if you got this um, from outside, like you brought it from, you. it's an old urn that was sitting somewhere in a backyard or in a you know, somewhere. <laughs> and it has that old world look with the colors and the moss. Now my camera is not doing it justice because it's a lot darker in person than on, uh, on film, but I really like how it turned out. Okay, let's make an amazing arrangement and put this on my dining room table because that's uh, the kind of the look that I'm going for. Yes, I'm gonna start off with uh, the the urn that I painted and distressed and put the moss on. I'm gonna start with two of these from the Dollar Tree and I buy these a lot. I have lots of them downstairs in my storage room. I always pick these up. I'm just waiting for my hot glue gun to warm up. But uh, this is what I'm gonna use as a base. And if you haven't seen the video where I picked up all these florals, I just posted that video on Wednesday. I picked these up, all these florals up from my local dollar store. Um, and I have these, three of these magnolias. Um, now, these could be from my local dollar store or they could be from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure, but I th I'm thinking they're from my local dollar store. I also want to use some magnolias in here. And I haven't thought this out 100% <laughs> yet. The only thing that I know that I want to do is I want to have these leaves kind of cascade over to the side and out. That is the only thing. So 
I am going to start playing with this and let's see what we come up with but I'm I'm gonna glue this down to make it secure okay guys I'm just gonna start placing these in and I will play with them as we go but this is what I'm I'm thinking and I'm having a hard time with my floral foam it is not sticking in the bottom of this um, urn. I don't know, maybe because the urn is resin and the glue is just not sticking. So I'm having a really hard time with this already, but I'm going to do my best to get it to work. I don't know how. I have an idea. Okay, plan B. I'm coming up with for right now to kind of keep this floral foam in, um, in place. I've just used a few pieces of tape and I made some, like I put it across the urn. Hopefully this will keep it in uh, place. So now I'm gonna start with my white hydrangeas and I just wanna randomly place them and I kinda wanna make the arrangement larger and come out as if it's, you know, something that you picked from nature, not too, not too, too precise and not too, um, unprecise if that makes like a little a little organic that's what I'm trying to say so I'm going to start that by cutting these and I'm going to start placing them in and see what we come up with Okay guys, let me give you an update as to what is going on because I had to pause the video. This floral foam was not cooperating, not even with the tape, nothing. So I went to plan B, I tried the tape, that didn't work either. Uh, I had to take out all the floral foam. I only have one tiny one in, just this one, just one of these. Um, and now I'm going to have to be really diligent on how I place the florals in. So I kind of replaced the ones that I had in so far. You can see it there. I mean, it's starting to look nice. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to place a few more of the, I only have three magnolias, so I'm going to place those and I have another blue one and I have plenty of these white ones. And then I have this color. Let me just show you this. Because what I'm going to do is I am just going to place these and voice over everything. I love this one. I like this blue and purple that it has in it. And I think it's going to give it a really nice kind of organic look. So I'm going to play this to music and try to get this done as much as I can. Because this is becoming an epic fail for me. And it's really hard to work with this container. I think the best idea, if you have a container that is resin like this, that is just not adhering to the hot glue, is to use a chicken wire. Um, like if I made a, a ball out of chicken wire, that would have been perfect, but I don't have any chicken wire on hand. So we're gonna make the best of it. Okay, I'm gonna start plugging in and you guys can watch to music and I'll be right back.
is the finish product. I think it turned out so good. Here's one side. I think this is going to be the back side. Let me show you the front. And here's the other side. I think it turned out really good. I wish I had a few more flowers, but in general, I think it looks good and it, it does give me the look that I'm going for. So you'll have to come back and see where I'm going to style this. Okay, guys, that is the end of the video. Wow, I had some real technical difficulties filming, making this arrangement. The urn, I'm so happy with. I think it turned out amazing. But the the urns, um, it's resin, so nothing was sticking to it. Nothing. Like I said in the video, it was so difficult getting the flowers in. But I managed. I think it looks fantastic. The urn turned out exactly the way I wanted it. I'm really, really happy with it. So you're gonna have to come back on Monday because I'm gonna start styling the dining room to switch it up a little bit more. And I wanna show you things that you can incorporate in your homes that you might have on hand uh, to give yourselves that French uh, country kind of a vibe in a really traditional uh, dining room. So. I will see you all on Monday. Have a fantastic, fantastic weekend and uh, do something you love. Uh, be productive. Try and get motivated to do beautiful things in your home and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I love you guys. If no one told you, I'm telling you, I love you. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye YouTube. Bye everybody. Mwah.